Hey, Graphic Design One. So uh, today you guys are going to get some information about your presentation for Battle of the Bands. So you'll notice that there are a couple more assignments that I posted on the Battle of the Bands uh, material. So the first one we're going to look at is the one that says BOTB for Battle of the Bands presentation. So if you click on that guy, um, there's a few things that I want to point out. First of all, you guys will be getting your own blank Google Slides that you will have access to edit. So this particular Google Slide on the assignment should have your name on it, and it should be blank so that you can add all of the information. Um, I also included my own example. So this is what yours should look like when you're done uploading everything. So. Uh, the first slide, I need you to upload a picture of your sketches. So you're going to separate them with sketches for song number one and sketches for song number two. Okay. So on yours, it's blank and it says song number one, song number two. So all you have to do is use the scan, the JPEG that you got from me that has your sketches, um, that you used to trace in Illustrator, uh, you're going to go ahead and insert that into this document. So you're going to do like insert image and you'll be able to get it from the Google Classroom. Remember, everybody's scans are here. So there's uh, two different materials with everybody's scans that are labeled with your name. So you're just going to go find your scans and then you're going to upload them to the slide for the presentation. Um, the way that you're gonna separate them is by just double clicking and cropping out the scans that are for the previous song. So I want just the scans for number one on this side and just the scans for number two on this side, okay? Then on slide number two, this is where you guys are going to input your images. So you need to export your images, your abstract art that you created, export it as a PNG, and then you're going to insert it to this slide. And then we're also going to use uh, YouTube to play your song. So you'll see there's little boxes on your empty one that say insert song video here. So you're going to go ahead and do insert video and it should automatically take you to YouTube. And then you can search for the song that you want. And then we can insert that video so that we can play it. So after you insert that video, um, I have had some problems with uh, setting the start time. So we'll see if this works or not. But if you go to um, format options, so I clicked on the video and then I clicked on format options, there should be the ability to make this video start and end at a particular time. Um, unfortunately, for some videos, it doesn't work. Like, let's see if it works for this guy. Yeah, so for some videos, it's not working, and I think it's an issue with the district blocking that video for some reason. So I'm going to attempt to fix that before I see you guys next time. But I still want you to go ahead and insert the videos uh, just as a backup so we can see if we can make it work. So uh, we are going to actually insert the video and we are not going to give a link to the video, right? Like what I don't want is to have to open this video in a new tab. I don't want to open it in a new window. I want to play the video directly from the slide. Okay. Now on slide number three, these are the questions that you will be answering when you present your work to the class. So um, when you present your work to the class, you're going to tell them which song goes with which abstract art. And then you're also going to describe to the class what shapes and colors you used for each particular song. And then also um, just in general, how do the aesthetics of your song relate to what you created? So this slide right here is for you to type out what you'll be saying to the class. So this is your plan of what your presentation will be. So that way you can utilize the class vocabulary that we've learned um, to describe your artwork. Okay. And then on slide number four, this one is a reflection. So this one is uh, asking you three things that you learned 
two things that you like about what you made and then one thing that maybe you would change or do different. Um, so this is your reflection about the process of how you created this artwork. Um, again, these are things that you are going to talk about in front of the class. These are things that you are going to address when you do your presentation. So when you're doing the presentation, you will have the ability to have these slides on the screen if you feel like that would help you. Um, but the main portion will be um, your images and then the songs hopefully playing through YouTube. Uh, so I'll see if I can fix the start time problem. Um, on the Google Classroom, there is also two different rubrics, okay? There's a rubric for Battle of the Bands presentation, and there's a rubric underneath the abstract images assignment. So remember, you guys are going to get uh, two different grades. Your grade for the presentation is 50 points, and it is completely separate from what the artwork actually looks like. Okay, so you get 50 points for presenting your work in a manner that's professional, and then you get 100 points for the actual creation of your abstract art. Okay, so um, I want you guys to go ahead and read through these rubrics. And then on the stream, so on our Google Classroom stream, I posted a quiz. So if I come back over here, this assignment right here, that's the quiz. Um, you can go ahead and leave me any questions or concerns that you might have about those rubrics on this last question of the quiz. So the rest of it, I do need you to fill it out so that I know that you paid attention to this video and all the answers to that will be what you just watched. So um, after you fill out that form, you can go ahead and get started filling out your own version of the presentation. Um, and then I'll see you guys next time. All right. Uh, have a good day.